Hello Aries, how are you guys doing? I just want to put a little bit of sage. Um, so Aries, are you ready? Because I'm telling you, things are about to go your way. The Jupiter that entered your sign, oh boy. Your life is about to change, like your whole perspective, your whole way of operating. It's like a new pair of sunglasses that you suddenly now understand the steps, right? You have the vision. So it's a lot of fire creativity and just like creating something out of thin air almost. It's very magician-y. You're kind of like an alchemist, you know, and the magician sometimes it is Aries, although we say it's Gemini. So things are just like making sense now everything is coming together things are about to go your way <laughs> so what does that mean if we're saying things are going to about to go your way it means that something wasn't going your way or there was a delay right i feel like during labor season you know you weren't i keep hearing in cahoots although there's a very really negative connotation to that word but for you it's not cahoots but it's like you've been talking to somebody or doing something secretly you know uh about your future your career or even a relationship who knows and um because libra you know seventh house deals with contracts whether work or even marriage so you know you still you were putting the, the foundations laying the foundations but it was not quite yet there you were kind of like just trying stuff and like seeing how to uh navigate and now in um you know when we hit scorpio season right after libra obviously november it was kind of like still you just were waiting for a response an answer or a move a gesture or some response right and now with sagittarius season which is ruled by Jupiter, which is in your house right now. So you're pooling that energy to you. That's your ninth house. You are expanding big time. And like I said, it's like your whole inner pioneer, like your inner pioneer is like on full mode right now. Now, the danger with that is that we can kind of fall into ego. We can kind of fall into um, entitlement, selfishness, right? And um, aggressivity, forcefulness, unnecessary forcefulness, really, that is not productive. So be careful. I want to say, think thrice, not twice, thrice before you do anything. From now on because your decisions are decisive it's a repetition i know but every move you make right now is crucial that's what i want to say okay because the ball is in your court so it's like use it to the you know to its fullest potential like you don't want to half use it but to do that in order to do that you have to calibrate to the energy and for that you need calm you see what i'm saying and it's like observation discernment you know it's like you have the fire, you have the creativity, you have the vision. Now it's like it has to go through your brain, your mind, so you can start like weaving the web and making it concrete, right? Pluto is in Capricorn, your 10th house, direct. See what I'm saying? Bringing it to life. Pluto's death, but it's also death is rebirth, is birth too, right? An ending is a beginning and vice versa. So I feel like for you, Pluto is like pretty much setting the ground for you to build this thing you're, you were working on or this plan you had, this vision. Okay. Wow. That was a long download, but so precise, wasn't it? Okay. So let's get into it. So <clears throat> your inner pioneer, your inner warrior, you know, is on a full mode. You're going to go get what you see. In your mind you're going to want what you want there's no shame in that you're gonna make it happen again be careful that you don't overstep on people's toes or make sure you go about it the best way possible okay now let's get a Oracle for you that's a lot of oracles 
Okay, let's see. Aries, please hear it. This is a crystal reading. These are the crystal reading cards. My first deck ever. Um, right here with, by Rachel Charman. Uh, also, guys, my Etsy is up. I'm still fan. I'm just finalizing. Um, I couldn't. I didn't even realize you couldn't see them unless I finalize the whole identification thing, which makes sense, really, if you think about it. So, yeah. So I'm on that right now, and you have healthy body, feeling amazing. That Jupiter. Um, so what was it? Let me finish this and I'll get to the cards. So yeah, I have to do that. But I have, uh, already have like eight crystals up. I have 12 more to put. And some of them are double, doubles, you know, like the clear points. I have two, uh, the amethyst. What else do I have two? Yeah, just the clear points pretty much. Yes, there's some courage here. I'm telling you that fire. There you go. Spiritual make awakening. Bam. Selenite. So you have agate. Healthy body, you're feeling so energized. If you, you're going to feel this energy, like I said, it's it's just a, a reset, you know? And it's this courage, this willingness, this drive. It's very fiery, very fiery, okay? And then the spiritual awakening. And then empowerment. Can I make this up? Things are about to go your way. Your inner pioneer. Beautiful, these cards together, right? Tiger's eye, sunstone, selenite, and then this is agate. Agate, sorry. So I wasn't, and then you have source. So this is definitely an upgrade. Jupiter is helping you. Like, I'm going to take all five cards. This is a first. And this is a master crystal. This would be your clear quartz, but it's like a special clear quartz. Isn't it like maybe Lemurian? It might be Lemurian or something. I'm going to read it because some of these cards, especially the master crystals, I have a hard time like really identifying what it is. The awakening crystal, I knew it was like smoky quartz or something. This one here is not clear quartz, like regular clear quartz because they have a clear quartz in the deck. But who knows? It might be, you know, there's so many varieties of clear quartz, right? So let's see. A divine temple. Bear with me, guys. Okay. Divine temple. So it is clear and smoky quartz and sometimes amethyst. Okay. So they just pictured it. They just It's a random picture. Okay, fine. So it says, uh, the crystal meaning is connecting to the Akashic Records, spiritual awakening source, obviously, connecting to the love and wisdom of the universe, group bonding and connections, reaching deep states of meditation. See, I feel this is an awakening. It's like, bam, Jupiter just awakened. It expanded your mind. Like I said, you have this vision and it's not even that. It's, there's this like self discovery you know you your inner pioneer i can't find a better word for that inner pioneer that's what jupiter represents in aries anyway right the inner pioneer has awakened and your life is never it's gonna by by your birthday by spring you're you're gonna look back and you're not gonna even recognize like your life before it's gonna you know sometimes you a lifetime's after lifetime, some of us it's five, you know, those changing cycles, five, ten. For others, it could be 25, you know. It always comes in a in pair. Usually five, fifteen, those things, because five is change. Um, you're gonna look back and you're not gonna recognize yourself. Like the other person, you're gonna be like, who wow. You're going to feel tenderness for that person, you know, but also it's a measure. To see how far you've come, how spiritually awake now you are, and how everything just seems to fall into place serendipitously. Because now you have this understanding. It talks about Akashic records, okay? Source. You are go connected directly to source. It's like you know exactly what to do, and that's why things are about to go your way. Okay? <clears throat> you feel good. You feel smart. You feel exhilarated. You feel, uh, there was another word exalted you know you feel exalted i actually thought jupiter was exalted in aries but no it's exalted in cancer i never would have thought that but anyway 
I was pretty sure because I was feeling that energy of empowerment, you know. No, it's not exalted, but it does awaken, you know, your inner pioneer, that magician in you. It connects all the tools, the mind, the spirit, the body, you know. The groundness, the clarity. Okay, let's get into Tarot. Aries, please do it. Temperance reverse. See, it's like, that's what I'm saying. Make sure that you don't go overboard. But also, since this came right under healthy body, like I said, some of you haven't been felting, feeling, not felting. Some of you haven't felt your best in a while. It was discouragement because, like I said, for some of you, this started like late August, October. You've been waiting. Nothing was happening. Uh, bam, I heard. Bam. Boom. Explosion. Like poof, fireworks I'm seeing for you right now coming up. And then look at this card here. <clears throat> Sunstone. Isn't that beautiful? I think this was a stone of the Mayan too or something like that. There's something to do with like the, the king energy. Like holy, not holy child, but like successor, like the sun, raw energy, you know? The chosen one, if you, if you will, kind of energy. You feel loved by God. You feel like it's your time. You feel super lucky. Nothing can stop you now. Look at this. Now you have the nine of swords reversed. <clears throat> no more nightmares. No more headaches. No more like sleepless nights thinking about this. Like when? I've done everything. Why is it not? The impatience, you know, it's just the not knowing. That's crippling and just like physically like takes a toll on you you know that's why you have temperance reverse and the um, nine of swords and then right you know you have the healthy body because that that too you know it starts with that obviously and then you become the empress you're back i heard you're back now now you're back and it's right under empowerment and courage guys and we know the empress she is the master manifester she has mastered the art of manifesting because she becomes her manifestations she does alchemy guys and we know that that's why she can pull whatever she wants from source and ground it she's kind of a magician too but she's more like of a witchy kind of vibe you know it, it's it's just like it's like she's done that she's on another level you know the queen of wands too is a witchy kind of vibe you know the magician is a little bit more like i'm just you know discovering all these tools it is, you know, like I said, it could be Aries sometimes because you are the first house. It's a young energy. Aries is a very young energy. You know, it's the first sign. It's Technically, it's the new year. Aries season starts the new year, technically. People say it's December. No, because winter is hibernation. Winter is the void. It's the dark. That's what we create. So I'm telling you, by your birthday, this you are the empress. Because right now, you're a magician. You're finding out all these powers you have. The power of persuasion, not it for your own benefit, obviously, not to, you know, at the detriment, I would say, because we always do that, we manipulate because we want something. So that was a stupid thing to say, but not to do it in, again in a self, selfish way where you don't take into consideration the other people involved. Okay, so now it's, it's not you're manipulating people, you're manipulating the energy, rather, okay? Things are about to go your way. I am telling you. Look at this. This is crazy. You see that? This is going to be your thumbnail. Things are about to go your way, baby. Beautiful, beautiful energy here for you. Okay? Now, let's keep going. I'm curious to see what else is coming out. Spirit gonna just like wow us like that's the energy I'm feeling bottom of the deck you have the seven of wands see don't get defensive don't get cocky don't get um I can do it by myself I'm like this and that because this is somebody that's not accepting how somebody that's not open to uh, other people I know it's defensiveness it is it is strength it's courage too but sometimes it could be paranoia or it could be um stubbornness as well okay so be careful Let's keep going. Like, you know, just being closed-minded. 
love this you got the six of cups there's a childhood dream happening here the empress is making a dream come true the empress is looking at her dreams coming true that thing she wanted since a child it's right in front of her she created it she thought of it she manifested it and she connected directly with source because she called back her power she awakened to her divinity because she is a goddess she is a divine feminine and it doesn't matter, guys, if you're a woman or a man, like masculine, whatever gender, whatever you identify as. We all have feminine energy. And if you ask me, it is the strongest one. You know? There's nothing stronger than emotions. Being able to connect to self. You know? There's nothing more powerful than that. To create, to connect to source. That, what is that? Is intuition. Right? So that's water. It's yin. Look at this. And now, boom, making it happen. Eight of wands. What did I say? Bam. I'm hearing bam. Things are about to go your way. Oh, my goodness. I just got shivers. This is amazing. One final card. Let's get the icing on the cake here. If it can get any better. Yes, it can. It is going to get better and better and better. Stay grounded. Uh, be grateful for this blessing and maintain, you know, because sometimes we slip, you know, it's human, but we learn the slipping doesn't last as long, right? As we grow and hopefully when, when we, you know, reach, we will reach a point where we don't slip anymore. We just take it, dissect it, thing it and re make it into our advantage or redirect it so that, you know, there's no interference because sometimes there are interferences we are in the 3d we're not alone people are going to interfere as i say that knight of wands coming towards you who is this who is this knight of wands coming towards you trying to get some trying to contact you or is it help you're asking for is it the message coming it's a knight of wands he's coming hot and he's coming fast so much fire in your card here this is like a fire agate it looks like Okay, this healthy body. Fire is health. It's vitality. You have courage. Tiger's eye. The tiger represents fire for me. Empowerment. Hello, sunstone. Uh, you know? So it's just like, and then you have these wands here. So did you ask for help? Help is coming. The message is coming. The result is coming. The desired outcome is coming. The wish is coming. The, you know, the reward is coming. Okay? There's a back and forth here. And um, it's attracting. You're very, very, right now, you're in the eye, like not the eye. You are practically sitting in the energy of the law of attraction. I'm telling you. Another one here. Be careful. Remember, we got the seven and the nine now in the bottom. What is this? Defensiveness. Both talk about defensiveness, stubbornness. So it's the second time a card like this comes out bottom of the deck. So it's like the cautionary message, I think, from spirit. Be careful. Don't be too cocky. Don't be stubborn. Keep being like, you have nothing to prove, basically. Don't fall into that trap where you feel like you have something to prove to the people that are like, yeah, whatever. You're never going to this. You're never going to that. You, have, you know, don't fall into that. This is the caution here. And don't think that everybody that approaches you is aggression. You will know if you listen, okay? Because this is a conversation between the two. The night and then eight is messages, talking, you know, exchange. It's Jupiterian energy. I think this is the sun in Jupiter. I mean, sorry, uh, Jupiter, the sun in, uh, in, in Sag. This is a Sag card. So there's this travel too, you know, you're going places. Some of you, you're, wor you're showing your work. You've been so cooped in, in secrecy because you couldn't talk about it until it was done. Great job. And, you know, now you can just show it, share it, you know. And you're going to get negative responses. You're going to get jealous people, haters. You're going to get, je uh, you know, people that are like, wow, amazing. I want to work with you because now you're famous because you can give me something i need la, 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 take advantage of you 
Um, some of them, it's a fair exchange they want. Okay, I'm gonna bring this. Uh, now I need this. Do, are you okay with that? It's all about talking it out. Because you're gonna get a lot of attention now. Messages, everything. People coming literally physically to you. Calling you. People that have your number from I don't know where. So you are in the eye of like, you are in the energy. I keep saying eye of the storm. But the eye of the storm is where's the comments, right? Again, see, there's going to be kind of this storm energy because you're getting a, a lot of attention. Things are moving fast. Things are changing for you. You are changing. You have changed. You started already. So, it, and from here till your birthday, like till spring, the new year, technically for me, at least, <clears throat> it's like, it's, it's nonstop, nonstop. So get ready. Right. Final Oracle card for Aries. That Jupiter man in, in your sign. Ooh, very fiery. And the ninth house Sag. Mm. With Mercury and Venus. Excuse me. I forgot to mention that. Venus and Sag. Your dreams. Having the vision. Going places you've dreamt of going. Doing things you've dreamt of doing. Being able to do it now. And then again, Mercury. I think this could be Mercury and Sag too. I'm not sure. Let me just stop. Mercury, the messages, the solicitations, the attention from abroad, from everywhere, invitations. Like here, we want you. You need to come do an appearance. You need to, we need to get in contact with you. Some, you know, let's exchange. Here's my business card. Oh my God, I know this person. I have to connect you guys. That kind of energy. And it's, it's nonstop. You have a lot of work to do. You're going to be very busy. So make sure, yes, you keep a healthy body. Okay? Because courage is also Leo energy. Leo is like, it could represent health. But you do have healthy body. So make sure that you don't overdo it as well. You know? You take time to rest. Uh, change your diet. I think I don't even have to tell you that. See? Clean it up. Change your diet. And make sure you eat healthy. You eat healthy sorry. Because things are about to flip, okay? To flip. Things are about to flip. Between worlds and clean, okay. Between worlds and clean up. This is the time to come up with a routine that works because you're, you're, you, whatever you've been doing before, <clears throat> it's just not you anymore. So whatever exercise you were doing, maybe you were doing tennis, now you're like, I, I want to go swimming. Because you're, you're a new person. You never knew you wanted to go swimming. All of a sudden, you have all these emotions coming together, all this memory, remembering, because remember, it's at Akashic Records. Some of you, this is something you've done in past life with the Six of Cups. And that's why you were so attracted to it. But you never understood. Now you know, because you're awakened, right? And it's almost like you got, you, you know, it's another notch under your belt. It's the formula, you know? Like I said, it's the exchange, never ending story. The exchange is coming. It's just like, and I feel some of you, don't be scared. You know, we have a lot of purposes, but I feel like now it's going to feel like deja vu, right? Because, you know, a never ending story is like, oh my, it's like Ferris Bueller kind of energy. So now it's not that you're going to be like, it's the, not the burden of like never ending story. Oh my gosh. Something that's so, you're so ready for it to, to, to be over. Just stop. It's boring. It's tiring. That's not that energy I'm feeling with this card. I'm feeling that now you understand because you kept getting these hits. You kept getting these messages from the universe, from source, but you didn't understand, you know, and you were like, some of you kept you up all, all, at night right <clears throat> with this nine of swords <clears throat> and you just didn't understand because you were not spiritually awakened yet for the, at this level at least you were not spiritually prepared for this <clears throat> this cycle now that's about to come to you now you're ready right so now don't be afraid it was here and i reshuffled and it came out again so this is your card this is like the full energy don't be scared don't be afraid. Listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition. Be the empress. You know. You know within you that you know. 
Okay, and that's what you need to listen to. Your intuition, your gut, it's about discernment, faith, hopefulness, and also just maturity, wisdom, okay? And giving yourself a chance. You see? Beautiful card to end the reading. Look at you. Floating, getting ready to leap. This is it. A new beginning is coming for you. That's crazy. That's crazy. Not that the, the new beginning is that's coming. It's a crazy thing that is coming. No. A new beginning that is absolutely insane is coming. Now you understand. Okay. You finally get it. They're, they follow each other. 36, 37. See that? No more blockages. No more like trying, trying, trying. Never ending story. Trying, trying. Doing something. You don't know what. You feel it in your gut. You instinctively, instinctively know. But it's like you just can't put your finger on it. You can't decipher it. You know, uh, you didn't have the key yet. Now you do. Source. Now you have the key. Okay? Beautiful energy. So empowering. Love you, Aries. And if I don't see you, I probably will see you guys. So I'm not going to say Merry Christmas. Um, I want to do a series called Daily Drama or What's the Drama kind of energy. I wanted to do it every day, but I think that's too much. Then I decided, okay, I'm going to do it like every five days, five being symbolic of change. I'm like, that energy of like drama, a change of the tower energy or something having to give. And I wanted to start yesterday on the 5th. And then do 5, 10, 15, 25, and then 30. Shut it off, which is five sessions. But I didn't do it yesterday. And I still have Leo to do. I'll do my best to do one today. And snip it. Uh, I think this, I felt it. I was when I was channeling this first, or even if it's not today, the first um, daily drama is going to be about love meeting the one i felt it so if you feel that that energy talks to you it resonates make sure you subscribe you know put your notification bell so you don't miss that okay and again my etsy i will come back to you guys with that no need for me to give you the address if nothing is up i have a lot of shit to do with today basically to finish doing my etsy then i have to do leo and then i will do that uh, daily drama She's not so much of drama when you're meeting your soulmate, is it? All right. Okay, energy. Love energy. Okay, Aries, love your energy. Yeah, because that's all there is around you. Energy. It's like, I want to talk to you. You like, like I, I, your energy. I'm in it. It's like, I want to go. I'm like, and then two days ago, I wasn't so much in the Christmas spirit. So funnily. But then, you know, it's coming together. I'm decorating the trees here. My, I think my, because my son is here, it gave me a little oomph, you know? Some of you children, you have children too, that are very, you know, that really like, uh, you're doing this for them kind of energy, you know, they really are your motivation. They're very, they're, 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 they're really your, your, your little cherubs kind of energy, right? I feel that for some of you. And some of you, if you're wanting a child, it's coming too because you have the empress, okay? If you've been wanting a child for a long time, that too is coming, okay? Love you guys. I see you. Bye. Take care, Aries.